Hi, and thank you for tuning in. I wanted to do a brief presentation on uh, Vigilon's analytics and object appearance search. Basically, this allows you to search a particular area of the video uh, for a person or a vehicle uh, on Vigilon cameras that have the built-in video analytics. Uh, this particular camera that we're going to show you right now is the Vigilon's edge storage camera. So basically, uh, there's no server involved. Uh, the client software is connected directly to this camera up here. So you can see a Vigilon 2 megapixel edge storage camera. It's called the driveway. So um, without further ado, here we go. Uh, to view the camera, basically you drag it out. Uh, you can double click to make it full screen. You're going to see the low res image for a second, and then it's going to go to the HD stream. This is a Vigilon's patented HDSM uh, to manage your bandwidth from the client to the server very efficiently. So uh, just going to show you how much recorded video we have in the system right now. It's about uh, three weeks in the system so you can see if I just left click and hold right now I can scrub video back and forth as fast as my heart desires which is a really cool feature um, customers love this uh, I've been able to search the video very quickly so um, now we can search it even faster though so say you're looking for a particular event we wanted to see people uh, in the cul-de-sac area um, over a couple day period so what we're going to do here is we come up, we put the, the new task button, uh, then you're going to see view, search, export, and manage. We're going to select search and do a motion search. This particular camera has uh, analytics, so we have the classified uh, object motion search available to us. So first thing you want to do is define your search area. So we're basically just going to click and drag the corners of these boxes. Uh, to give us the area that we want to search, which is right here. Also, um, on larger systems, you just make sure you're, you have the correct uh, camera selected up here that you want to do the search. And then uh, down below, you get your time range, so you can manually punch in your uh, to and from. Uh, you can see your duration here. Um, it's one way to do it. Uh, my personal favorite is to basically just drag the beginning and drag to the end using the markers down at the timeline. So let's just grab this here. Um, uh, let's see, let's do, let's do three days. Let's go from Tuesday to Thursday. So that's going to be three days, seven minutes and 53 seconds. Um, I can round that off if I wanted to. Let's make that a zero. So there you go. Uh, exactly three days. Uh, and you can select the type of object you want to search for. You've got people or vehicles as your option. So we're going to eliminate vehicle and just show you people. Here's your confidence level. So confidence basically is how confident uh, a Vigilant is that it's detecting a person or a vehicle. Um, easiest way to explain this is, you know, if you're getting a lot of results, uh, move the slider to the right. If you're not getting a lot, move it to the left. So we're just going to leave it at the default of 75 right here. There we go. Uh, minimum threshold seconds. So basically that means the object has to be in this area for two seconds. Uh, for it to show up as a result and then we're going to hit search down here now uh, because this is an edge storage camera um, you're limited to processing power in the camera itself so this does take longer than the server um, if if you have a server or an edge uh, recorder device the, the, your results are pretty much instantaneous um, so this just takes a couple of seconds uh, for you to view the results and there we go so um, we just searched three days of video and we have 38 results for people. Uh, so if I click here, you can see there's a person right here. I can zoom in, I hit the spacebar button and you can see that the person was detected. Now, uh, this dog was detected down here, and we're going to mark that as a false person. So it's part of the, uh, the, the teaching ability of the analytics. We'll go over that in another video. This one, I just want to show the, the searching capabilities. So uh, again, we just clicked on number two. I hit the space bar, hit play, and then we're going to see somebody walking across here. And that's basically what's uh, tripping the result. If you want to search faster, you can actually use the up and down arrows on, on your keyboard. And then again, anywhere there is a bold bounding box that is what triggered the result so there you go there it is so 
that is basically how the Vigilon uh, classified object search works. Thank you very much for tuning in. There'll be more to come. Thank you.